Gram-positive and gram-negative bacteria don't have the only possible cell wall structures. I'll give you one alternative, mycobacteria, that includes Mycobacterium tuberculosis, that has a cell wall structure that helps them escape attackers. Here's a schematic from Wikipedia. The outermost layer are some lipids. That helps to make it hydrophobic. And then the next layer is mycolic acid, which is very long acids. The acid is just at the tip. These long carbon chains are very hydrophobic, so this whole layer is very hydrophobic, making it very difficult for hydrophilic molecules to get through. And that means a lot of antibiotics and other molecules used to attack by the immune system can't get through. Then there's the peptidoglycan layer and the cell membrane. Let's sketch that after I show you mycolic acid. So here's the acid part. These OH here can lose the H and be an acid. But these long chains of fatty acids pack tightly together. Imagine putting candle wax on the outside of a bacterium. So we'll start with outer lipids that are variable in length. Then we have the mycolic acid attached to a polysaccharide layer down here at the base, so a polymer of covalently attached saccharides, sugars. The mycolic acid has, on each of these sugars, has a shorter and longer portion of the mycolic acid. That's this thick hydrophobic area that makes it very difficult for molecules to penetrate. Then below that is the peptidoglycan layer with these amino acid side chains covalently bound. And then the plasma membrane with phospholipid heads and tails. About four nanometers for that. The peptidoglycan layer, maybe two to four nanometers. I haven't found a good source the polysaccharides, mycolic acid, and outer lipids, about six to eight nanometers. This waxy layer here is very difficult for molecules to get through, and that forms the protection of mycobacteria. It allows mycobacteria, for example, to stay alive inside of the macrophages that have ingested them and are trying to kill them. But the toxins they produce that ought to be able to kill the bacterium can't get through this waxy outer layer, and the bacteria manage to continue to get enough nutrients in order to survive and grow and reproduce.